Hi friends, today we're gonna see how to use the index function. So here you can see we have a data in which on the left side we have the employee names and on the top, on the right side, we have the month names. Let's assume that these are some sales figures achieved by these employees. Now if I would like to find out the intersection of a row and column, Example, I would like to find the data for that employee whose name is Bob and for the month of May. How do we achieve that? In order to achieve that, Excel provides us with a beautiful function called as index. So today, let us explore the index function. Here's how it goes. So click on any blank cell and we begin by typing equal to index open parenthesis and the first parameter is it asks us to select the array so array is the area where your data is present so we highlight this entire data excluding the headings on the left and on the top then we give a comma now it asks us the row number Okay, so we would like to find out that employee whose name is Bob. So what we are going to do is we are going to use a function called as match. And we will say open parenthesis. It's asking us what is the lookup value. So the lookup value is Bob. Then we give a comma. Lookup array is the area where from where it has to find Bob. So we highlight this entire column and then we close parenthesis. Okay, we give a comma before that and it asks us, do you want an exact match? So we say zero. We close parenthesis for match. This will give us the row number for Bob, which is row number one. Then we give a comma and now comes the third parameter for index wherein it has to find out the column number so again we use the match function and we give open parenthesis which is the lookup value it's me comma where you would like to look up that value so I would like to look it up over here comma and I want an exact match so I give zero I close parenthesis for match and I close parenthesis for index and I hit enter and it will return the value as 18 which is the intersection of Bob and month of May. So if I select a different employee here, example I select Joe for the month of April. Okay, so you will see that Joe for the month of April is again 18. Let's select Jill for the month of June and it is 24. Jill for the month of June it is 24. Hope you enjoyed learning the index function. Have a great day. Bye.